welcome back and welcome to Keeping Up With Cam. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning into our channel. And if you're a returning subby, thank you so much for coming back. So today we have our toddler boy hairstyle video number 72. This is going to be a quick braided style. We have a bigger sized braid for this and a freestyle part. It's going to be super easy, super quick, and you're going to love it. This style is being done on freshly washed hair. I did do something a little bit different for this one, so I wanna show you guys a little behind the scenes of what I did during wash day before we get into the video itself. Okay, hear me out. This is a clothing steamer, but I did use it on his hair. It works just the same. Just make sure you're not keeping it in one space for too long. We don't wanna like fry the hair but um, I went in with the curly kids super detangling conditioner the karma karma's world collab um, so I put that in the hair I detangled it and once I was done detangling I used the steamer and let me tell you softest hair ever try it so we're gonna go start with our brown butter melt this is the Camille Rose kids brand we're just gonna go in and we're gonna add that all over just make sure you're getting it through all the hair um, if you guys want to see a more detailed video on wash day let me know if you have any questions or comments about what I do with it specifically um, I can either make a video or I can just answer those questions in the comments no problem so I'm going to start now by uh, parting the hair. I'm going to do a part straight down the middle and that's going to bring me from the front of the hair straight to the back. Make sure that you go in as much as you can and keep these um, parts as straight as possible, as neat as possible. That way the style looks and lasts long. Um, if you want to do this differently, you can not do a middle part. Totally up to you. So I'm going in now with our Dax Indian Hemp. This is only because I wasn't able to find my regular Kuza brand. And when I did find it, I wasn't really happy. Um, so this is what it looks like on the inside. I do like the Indian Hemp nature of things. I just find that it has better products and I just like how it goes in the hair. But with this one, it was not it. Do not recommend. I would not try it. It was a waste of money. I ended up giving it to my mom. So now I feel like I might need to have a talk with people over at Kuza because this is my favorite grease, my favorite um, hair and scalp treatment, hair food, whatever you want to call it. But I feel like I'm getting cheated. I understand inflation, the dollar, all that good stuff. But there is no reason why both of these are four ounces and the new one fits snugly inside. I know things are compact, but it can't be that compact. So I'm a little upset because this is definitely my favorite product, but I just don't know. I don't know how I feel about paying the same price for what looks like less product so i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna add my grease to the scalp in this case i was using the dax because i didn't have the kuza yet but you can use whatever that you're gonna work with now i'm gonna go in with our shine and jam this is the orange one again this is not my favorite i just kind of had to finish the bottle because i bought it um if you're looking for a good brand a good color to buy i go with the yellow that's my kind of trusty go-to but at the time when i bought the orange wasn't available now we're using our curl piece defining curl and coil cream I'm going in and just kind of refreshing the hair dampening it and I'm using um, a brush to go through get the product work through the hair get the curls activated get the hair detangled um, so I can work with it so you're going to put your grease on the scalp you're going to put your gel on the perimeter you're going to put your um, cream on the hair preferably after some water and you're just going to work everything through so these are my goody uh, hair elastics. Literally, I swear by these brand. They don't rip. They don't snag. They're perfect. I get a 500 pack at Walmart and they last really long. So if you're looking for a new brand or you're looking for one that works really well, I recommend those. So I'm going in now and I am just braiding the hair down normally. As you can see, I did start regular, like underhand, and then I went, I moved over to overhand. I find that the over, overhand braiding is better just because it allows for the hair to stay stretched when you're braiding. I find when you underhand braid, it gets really tight and it's just not fun. So I overhand braid as much as possible. That way that the um, curly hair can just kind of elongate in the style because his hair now really um, curls up. So, you know. Now, with the parting for this style, it's whatever you want. You can um, copy the template that I'm giving you here. You can kind of do your own thing. It is really just a freestyle. You're kind of just going and selecting spaces wherever meets up, trying to make triangles, 
um, and just making it look really neat. Um, when you're going through right now and you're making your parts, it doesn't have to be straight. Um, it doesn't have to be super straight because you're going to go back over with your gel and your, your comb. Um, but you're just going to get a rough idea of where you want to get your parts. I believe I did one, two, seven or eight <laughs> uh, per side. Um, so when you do this one first side, the right side, you're just going to copy and do the exact same thing on the left side. That's why I love braiding. There's symmetry. It's so easy. You guys only have to see me do one side of the hair because it's going to be the exact same thing on the left side. And this is a quick look of what the parts looked like when I was done that right side. Again, you can do whatever you like, but I do find that going in and parting beforehand just makes it a lot easier for when you want to braid. You just grab a next section and go instead of having to think of where you're going to part each time. So going in with that first one, I'm going to add a little bit of water. I'm going to comb through. I'm going to add the gel to the, the roots. I'm going to brush through again. I'm going to add a little bit of my um, curl cream. As you can see here, I'm adding that in. You brush again, comb again, do all of that as much as you need to. Make sure the hair is detangled and good to go. Then you can start by adding the elastic to the hair. Not too tight. Just make sure that it is... Um, well enough to keep the hair uh, tight and straight but not like it's squeezing their hair and to the point where it would make um, irritation like make the bumps we do not want that that means the style is not working it's not helping them it's actually hurting them um, so if you see any bumps form when you braid your little one's hair please take out the style as soon as possible wash their hair out and just leave their hair free and let their scalp kind of um, cleanse itself and fix and get back to being less irritated so as you can see i'm kind of working through these quickly because that's literally how fast you can go with this style it does not take a lot of time to work up so i love that if you guys are paying attention kamari just got a new pair of glasses here my mom came over um, i accidentally shipped his glasses to her house so she came and brought them these are new but they didn't last they as you can see are a little bit too big so we had to get a different pair he goes through glasses so frequently because we have to keep changing his prescription stronger and stronger. But these were a really cute pair and we just wish that they lasted. But as I was saying, um, this style works up really easily. As you can see, I'm on to the third one already. So just make sure that you are combing and brushing as frequently as you can as you go along because you want this style to have the hair stretched out. Um, when you're working on wet hair, when you're working on either freshly shampooed hair or hair that you're spraying as you braid, the hair will then uh, shrink when it dries. So you wanna make sure that the way you're braiding it, which I prefer overhand, will ensure that the braid is being braided as loose as possible, which gives it that length. Um, and then once it dries, it'll retain that length um, and it won't shrivel up, curl at the ends and look um, a lot shorter or a lot more shrunken. Um, with Kamari, the back of his hair is a lot tighter. I say this all the time. The back of the hair is super tight. The middle is, um, just regular and the front is still that like 3C that it used to be before so we are working with three different textures um, and we just try and find styles that kind of make it work where it doesn't look awkward where you have like these straight pieces in the front and these curly pieces in the back and the middle is just kind of doing its own thing but I found that this style works really well. And like I said, if you're doing that overhand braiding, it's gonna help keep the same consistency throughout all the hair. So when you go in, make sure that you're putting that gel on the, um, on the part. You wanna go in again with your uh, tail comb. I like the one with that little extra piece in the front so that it like precision parts the hair you can get that at your local beauty supply everything that i use is linked in the description box below but if you can't find anything or if you have any specific questions again let me know down in the comments or you can find us on instagram everything is um, at keeping up with cam and we love to answer questions in the dms um, and just like give you guys a little bit of tips and tricks whatever you guys need from us <laughs> So as you can see, I am still using my favorite Red by Kiss Glide and Define Detangling Brush. Um, I have seen a lot of talk of the new Unbrush, um, I believe it's called. 
I don't think I'm going to be switching anytime soon. This brush works really well on wet or dry hair. And I think I've seen kind of mixed reviews on how well that brush works. Um, and with the fact that his hair is three different textures, I don't want to take the risk of putting something that's going to nick his hair or only going to really work in one section of his hair. So at this point, I do not have any reviews or thoughts on that new brush, but I will say I do love our rest red by kiss brush and if you are looking for any brush ideas tips tricks or anything i definitely recommend that brush and you can find more information on it in the description box below i absolutely love how this curl piece cream works in his hair it just keeps it so soft it's really good if you want to do like uh, wash and goes i find it gives a lot of definition like instantly um we just don't do wash and goes because like i said three different textures it won't work too well anymore <laughs> but i highly recommend it again these are all my own personal opinions i'm not sponsored by anybody i'm not getting paid to tell you guys this i solely give you guys recommendations based off of what we use and what we like what works and doesn't work for us um what stopped working what works again i just want to let you guys know what we use and hopefully it'll help you guys um, figure out what works best for you and your little ones Okay, so onto the last braid in the front. Again, um, my usual tip is adding a little bit of your favorite oil to the perimeter um, before you put on the gel. That way it helps stop with flaking. I mean, this uh, gel that I use doesn't flake, um, but sometimes, you know, different gels work differently for different people. So I put a little bit of gel on the perimeter also to help protect the hair from the products just in case there's too many chemicals or anything like that. I don't know if it really is scientific, but it just gives me a little bit of peace of mind and I've been doing it forever and I find that it's helped. So that's my little tip. If you want to adopt that idea, feel free. If not, that's cool. Um, so I'm going in and I've added all the products to the hair. I've added the elastic and then I did my overhand braid most way through this braid. This is like the straightest part of his hair. So it is a little bit harder i don't really need it to be as straight uh compared to the rest of his hair so i did the overhand for a little bit and then i finished off with the underhand and this is what we looked like halfway through so these were the eight braids on the right side and like i said we're just going to mimic on the left and voila this was our final product it came out so quick so easy the style lasted a really long time it's also a great style to refresh if you want to keep a style in for a longer period of time but your kids kind of mess up their hair really quickly this style is great because you can refresh it weekly by weekly whatever works on your schedule and that way you don't have to take down redo a whole new style every week every couple of days so we hope you enjoyed this style. If you did, please thumbs up this video. Also hit us in the comment section below. Let us know your thoughts, questions, concerns, anything you want to know. Share this video with your friends and family. Subscribe if you have not already and come back for the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.